Hello students, now in this video I brought uh, the different terms associated with the reflection of light and also the laws of reflection of light. So, uh, because this is in continuation with my earlier video where we have done the mirror and the types of mirror. So, in this video, the terms associated with reflection and the laws of reflection of light. So, let's start this. Now, terms associated with the reflection of light. Okay, now we'll start with the terms associated with the reflection of light. So here, start with the terms. Okay, terms associated with associated with reflection of light. With reflection, reflection of light. So now here, suppose uh, we draw a plan mirror. Okay. And we show the reflection taking place on the plan mirror. So here, uh, now here we can say this is a plan mirror. Okay, this is uh, this line indicate the line will be the poly surface, and the upper part is the reflecting surface. So suppose uh, we bring a incident rays of light. This is a okay. This is. Now we bring the incident rays of light. Huh? So, and here also, mm, this uh, okay. Okay, so now, okay, this uh, here, uh, here figure we can say that this figure is reflection of light, okay, reflection of light. Now, here we can say that this is the angle here, this is also the angle, okay, so here. This line, suppose N O, N O, okay, and this is R O, this is R O, sorry, here, okay, this is R O, and here this is, uh, suppose P O, right here, right, so, and this is, this line is called as a normal, okay, this color, this line. Called as a normal, normal. This is called this is the incident ray. Incident, incident ray. Okay, incident ray. This is the reflected ray. Reflected ray. And uh, this is angle I. Sorry, this is uh, this is the. Uh, angle I and angle R. Okay, so here um, now the terms associated with reflection of light. There are different terms associated with the reflection of light. So here, so I want to remove this now. Okay, different terms associated with reflection of light. Now here, okay. So, okay, the terms. Now let's go to the different terms now. So, terms. So now number one, we'll go to the incident ray. What is incident ray? Incident ray. Incident ray here is very clear in the figure. Incident ray is the ray of light which is strike on the on the on the plan mirror. Which will strike on the on the plan mirror on the on which will strike on the plan mirror, right? Which will strike on the plan mirror. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. 
So the ray of light which is strike on the plan mirror is called as the incident ray. Okay. The ray of light, the example will be PO. PO is the incident light. Okay. Incident ray. So the ray of light which is strike on the plan mirror, on the smooth surface of the plan mirror, is called as the incident ray. Okay. Then we have the reflected ray. Second one will be the reflect. What is the reflected ray? Reflected ray. So here, reflected ray. We can say that. Mm, okay. After rays of light uh, which will bounces back in the same medium after incident ray strikes. Okay. When incident ray strikes on the smooth surface of so the plan mirror, then it will bounce back in the same medium. This bounce back ray of light is called as the reflected ray of light. An example here or example here we can say that OR. Okay, example is OR. OR is the reflected ray. So, when incident rays of light strike on the plan mirror, then after striking it will bounce back in the same medium. The bounce back rays of light is called as the reflected ray. Example here is OR. Okay, then the number third we go to the not is normal ray. Normal. Okay, normal ray. What is normal ray? So, what is the normal ray? Now, if you draw a perpendicular at the point of incidence on the plan mirror, this is O is the point of incidence. No? This is uh, O. This is called as the point of incidence. Point of, point of incidence. Okay. Point of inci incidence. This is, this is called as the point of um, okay. Incidence, point of incidence. So, if you draw a perpendicular at the point of incidence on the plan mirror, then this ray is called as a normal ray. Okay, students. Now, if you draw a perpendicular here like this, draw a perpendicular at the point of incidence on the plan mirror, then this ray is called as a normal ray. So, normal ray example, we can say that normal ray example is uh, ON. Okay, we can say ON is the normal ray. Okay, after ON, then we go to next part that is the angle of incidence and angle of reflection. Also, we have to write. So now let me okay, let me uh, remove this. Okay, okay, students. Now so and the notes uh, of the question answer I'll give you after completing the chapter, student. Don't worry, I will give you give you give you a website where we can see all the question answers okay. and we can uh, uh, here you can see all the question answer and write from the website no problem without and uh, there will be free of cost okay so next one we go to the angle of incidence now next part we write here angle of angle of incidence okay so here angle of incidence is the angle made by the incident ray with the normal is called as the angle of incidence example angle uh, angle of incidence angle p o n p o n and this is represented by angle i so the angle made by the incidence ray with the normal okay so here angle made by made by angle made by Okay, angle, angle, okay, angle made by, made by incident ray, incidence, incident, okay, made by the incident ray, mm. okay, made by the incident, incident ray, is it, no, uh, with the normal ray. Okay, is uh, angle of incidence. Angle of incidence. Okay, then this call as angle of angle uh, angle of incidence. So this call as angle of mm, mm, it's called it's called angle of incidence. Right? 
follow the envelope angle of incidence okay angle of incidence the angle made by the incident ray with the normal is called as angle of incidence so here in the figure angle PON is represented by angle I this is this is called as the this will be your angle of incidence okay and this is angle of reflection angle R okay so here this is angle of incidence incidence angle of incidence okay and here this is angle of angle of reflection angle of reflection okay reflection so now next we will go to the okay student we will go to the okay now here we can drop this one okay now next one we'll go to the now okay yeah mm -hmm. okay so this will be normal no? normal okay then angle of okay angle of incidence we have done so next one will be angle of uh, reflection angle of reflection okay angle of reflection no? angle of reflection so here the angle made by the reflected ray with the normal is called as the angle of reflection okay so here we can say that okay angle made by angle made by reflected ray reflected ray angle made by the okay reflected reflected ray with normal with normal ray with the normal ray is angle of reflection angle of reflection okay reflection so here angle angle of reflection is angle okay angle r o n angle so angle of reflection is uh, um now here okay we can say that mm -hmm. angle r o n is equal to angle r if this is angle of reflection angle of of uh, angle of okay so angle of reflection reflection okay now so, so the angle made by the okay reflected ray with the normal is called at the angle of reflection we have given here now, so now here mm, okay now two more thing i want to go to okay reflex action of incidence and reflex angle of reflection now after that we will go to okay we will go to the reflex action of incidence and reflex action of of the uh, reflex action of uh, the reflex angle okay reflex action of incidence and reflex action of reflex okay now here so now here okay okay so now here we will go to okay so here i'll go to the reflex section of incidence what is the reflex okay reflex angle of reflex angle of incidence what is reflex angle of incidence okay reflex angle of incidence okay No. So incidence. 
reflex angle of incidence. Okay, so here reflex angle of incidence is what? Now the angle that incident ray makes with the plan mirror is called as the um, angle of incidence. So, so here the angle made by the now suppose we go to the okay now we go to the um, here x and here we go to the y okay so this pox is called as the reflex angle of incidence because this is a plan mirror no so angle made by the incident ray with the plan mirror is called as the reflex angle of incidence so here we can write there angle angle made by angle made by incidence ray incident ray with plan mirror with with uh, plan mirror okay plan mirror is called angle reflex angle is called reflex angle of incidence reflex angle of incidence it is now it is what it is angle pox p it is angle POX, okay, it is angle POX. It is the POX, this is the reflex action of, okay, reflex angle of incidence, right? Then we go to next one, reflex action of, uh, reflex angle of, of the reflection. So now next one, we go to, okay, now. Next one, let me go to the okay. Now, here, mm -hmm. okay. So, here, mm -hmm. okay. So, now, this is normal. So Reflex angle of reflection. Reflection. So here the angle. Okay. Uh, okay. Reflex angle of reflection. Reflection. So here we can go to the angle made by angle made by angle made by made by a reflected ray. Reflected angle made by the reflected ray with plan mirror. Reflected ray with the with plan mirror. Plan mirror. Okay. With the plan mirror. Plan mirror is called is angle uh, is. Okay. Is reflex angle of reflection. Reflex angle of this 
complex angle of angle of reflection is called as the reflex angle of reflection right reflection reflex angle of uh, of reflection reflection okay here angle you can see here this is the okay this will be okay this will be angle r o y r o y is the reflex angle of reflex right so okay these are the two additional angle we are we have taken reflex angle of incidence and reflex angle of okay reflex angle of reflex so here this is the reflex angle of incidence the angle made by the incident ray with the plan mirror is called as the reflex angle of the incidence and the angle made by the you now the okay the angle made by the reflector ray with the plan mirror is called as the uh, reflex angle of reflection okay so here the different terms associated with the reflection i end of my class here so student okay so we have done the incident ray reflected ray point of incidence normal ray angle of incidence angle of reflection reflex angle of incidence and reflex angle of reflection so with this i end up this class today and once again i request you to please subscribe the channel so that we can get the another video of the light chapter and please try to share it with your friends so that they will be also benefited thank you very much all of you for listening the class Thank you.